I'm speaking with Executive Director of Residence and Recovery, Tyler Lorenz. How are you today? Great, thank you. So Alberta Health Services is marking November 22nd to the 28th, National Addictions Awareness Week. Why do you believe this is so important? Yeah, it's important that we, you know, recognize, you know, the impact addiction has on our on our families and our communities. Um, you know, many, many people are really struggling right now, especially with COVID. Um, it, it's uh, really impacted uh, those that struggle with addiction in a negative way, uh, more so than the average population, I would say. Um, you know, as addicts in recovery or alcoholics in recovery, you know, we really need connection, you know, to in order to to stay in our recovery programs. And COVID has, you know, really caused the opposite of that. So um, it's been a struggle for many people and, you know, we're seeing more higher numbers than we ever have. Uh, overdoses, you know, North America wide are, are way up. And, you know, it's, it's clear that the impact uh, that COVID has on, on uh, addictions, it has been, you know, devastating. And is residents in recovery here in Lloyd Minster planning anything to help spread awareness for, for it in here in Lloyd Minster for this week? Yeah, it's really difficult right now. Um, uh, we have nothing planned. Uh, you know, we actually, as of today, uh, have decided to, you know, uh, kind of go into a, a lockdown ourselves uh, with the clients in the houses. So uh, clients uh, that are in our sober living program will not be interacting with the public. Uh, for the next few weeks, you know, to see if numbers uh, come down. Uh, our office will still be open. Uh, programming will still be available for the community, um, but we're just going to prevent uh, interaction between clients and, and uh, the public. It's not a good time right now to really do anything. Um, you know, in, in, in groups of any sort, um, we try and... Uh, you know, in cooperation with Lakeland, or not with Lakeland, with Reeves College uh, to do a memorial night, uh, which we're probably not going to be able to do. Might have to do something virtually, um, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, it's really tough right now to do anything in any groups. And especially since it's tough with residents in recovery during COVID, how can residents here in Lloydminster help spread awareness and support for this week? Sure, I think just recognizing it, you know, every, everybody knows somebody that struggles with addiction, whether we want to admit it or not. Um, you know, there's, vir there's virtually not a family that is not touched by, by somebody that struggles with addiction. It's so widespread in our community uh, and every community. You know, it's really, we're at the point right now that we sh should be able to recognize that, you know, addiction is not just this you know, something that we need to hide away, this family secret. Uh, you know, it, it's something that is treatable, um, you know, and the only way to get help for somebody is, is if we acknowledge it. And the way to acknowledge it, you know, is maintaining that connection with individuals, um, you know, not, you know, shaming them or, or casting them out of the family or, or you know, the community. And we really need to, to step up you know, all together to help people get, fight through addiction uh, rather than, you know, pushing them away. And since you're saying that residents in recovery are shut down officially today from COVID-19, uh, before, what has residents in recovery been doing to help with individuals dealing with addictions during the pandemic so far? Sure. I mean, we, we act, you know, uh, in a number of different roles. We tend to be a... Uh, entry point for many individuals that, that want to start their recovery journey. They don't know where to go, to, who to turn. Um, you know, we'll get them into detox, uh, you know, or if that's not their chosen path or their path yet, you know, we, we, we offer harm reduction supplies as well. Um, you know, just to keep people safe until they're ready to you know, make, make the change. Uh, we also help families, you know, Many families don't know where to turn, you know, how to help their loved one. And, and, you know, a good percentage of our calls every day come from family members, you know, desperate to, to help their loved one uh, and have no idea where to turn or who, how, to, how to go about it or even how to talk to their loved one. And, uh, 
you know, that's a big part of it is just that communication piece and how do we motivate people to get into recovery uh, and see that there is hope, that there is a chance to turn their life around. They don't have to be stuck in, you know, in addiction for the rest of their life. Well, thank you so much for joining me again today, Tyler. Thanks for having me, Shelby. Have a good day.